In Translate Lesson 1, you learned how to translate steno notes that have been read and saved to a file on your computer. In this lesson, you'll learn how to translate in real time. Real time translation refers to the live translation of steno notes as they are written. Steno notes are transferred to the computer and instantly matched against your personal dictionary and other selected dictionaries. Some reporters also use the term real time to describe not only translating live to their own computer, but also sending out the translated text to other computers. In this lesson, we'll focus on real time translation on the reporter's system. Before you begin real time translation, there are a few items you must prepare. If you use an older writer that requires a serial connection, you'll need a serial port available for the connection. Most computers don't offer built-in serial ports anymore, so if you need one, you can add one via USB serial adapter. If you plan to use a wireless connection, such as Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, you'll need to follow the directions that came with your writer's wireless connection kit to set up and configure your connection. If you plan to send your steno notes from the writer to the computer via a USB or serial cable, you'll connect the cable from the writer to the correct COM port on your computer. If you plan to use AudioSync to record audio, you must make sure that your microphone is connected to your sound card. If it's a powered microphone, turn it on, check the battery, and make sure it's ready to record. If you need assistance with setting up audio, begin with the AudioSync self-study guide available in the Help menu. Once your system has been prepared and your writer is connected, you're ready to begin real-time translation. Open the Translate Edit function. Just as when you translate steno notes from a file read onto your system, there are several different methods to open Translate. You can click on Translate and Edit on the function bar, select Translate and Edit from the file menu, or you can press the shortcut key combination, Control T. When translating real time, the steno source is the writer. By selecting the writer instead of file, you are telling Case Kettles to look for the steno notes from the connected writer, rather than looking for a file on the computer's hard disk. The first time you translate real time, you'll need to tell Case Kettles to which writer you're using and how that writer is connected to the computer. To do that, we'll click the Options button and then click the Real Time tab. At Real Time Writer, you'll select the name of your writer and your connection method. For example, if you use a Diamante, you would select Diamante USB if connecting via a USB cable, Diamante Wi-Fi if connecting wirelessly via Wi-Fi, and Diamante if connecting wirelessly via Bluetooth. If you're connecting via Bluetooth or to any writer via serial cable, you will also need to select the COM port address in the connection area of the real-time tab. There are a number of other options you can set up for real-time. However, these features will be covered in later lessons. For now, we'll proceed with basic real-time. As when translating steno notes from a file, your choice at layout file determines how the translated text will appear in edit. How many lines per page, top, bottom, left, and right margins, whether or not timestamps display, the position of Q&A symbols, and much more. If you select Record Audio, Case Catalyst will record the audio portion of the proceedings on your hard drive and synchronize it to your translated text. If you plan to record audio every time you translate, check the box under Remember Setting. Next, you'll give the real-time job a name. Some reporters like to use the name of the witness, some prefer the date of the proceeding, some prefer a combination. As with file translation, you can select any job dictionaries that may help to create a more accurate translation. Your installation of Case Catalyst includes a dictionary called the Case Catalyst 4 Real-Time Commands Dictionary, located in the System Files case. When you select this dictionary, you can write steno strokes to find as commands that will help you to edit on the fly from the writer. You can learn more about these commands and how to use them in the basic Real-Time Skills Self-Study Guide, located in the Help menu. So. The writer is connected, Case Catalyst knows which writer and the type of connection I'm using and which layout to apply. The file is named, and Catalyst knows which dictionaries I want to use to translate as I write. This means I'm all set to proceed with real time. I'll click OK and start writing. As I write, you can see what I'm writing. You now know how to translate in real time. If you'd like to practice connecting and starting real-time, follow the instructions for Exercise 2 in the Translate Practice file in the training user.